TaylorRadio.com. What's up, Boston buttholes? We are the Project. And you have the privilege of listening to the Boston Local Music Show on UnregularRadio.com. It is a privilege, isn't it? We're back with the Boston Local Music Show, live on Unregular Radio. And that song you just heard is a brand new, never before heard single from The Dead Friends. Two of which have joined us in the studio, and I can assure you they're, they're quite alive. Hello! Hi! What's up? Put a handle in me, I'm luggage. Yeah, don't stop stealing my lines, dude. You I do like that shit all the time, man. <laughs> he fucking, we played a show in Philly, and I said it the night before in Jersey, mm -hmm. and the next night on stage, he was like, darn, he put a handle on his luggage. I'm like, looking at him, like, you're stealing my shit, dude. <laughs> Why do you do that? You just, you know, the original, dude. Oh, that's a good one. See, look, he's drinking Jameson, I'm drinking Jack and Coke, and whatever time it is. And we have practice later. That might be a both, are, both are very delicious. Yummy. Yeah, and I just came back from vacation. I'm still drunk. What the hell is going on? <laughs> it never ends. Well, you know, St. Patrick's Day is this weekend. Uh, so. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna need rehab after this. <laughs> you know, it's just. It's been nonstop for a month, man. That's why we're like coming here. We just feel like we fit in. It's almost like therapy. <laughs> I'm like, there's other people like us. We're not so bad. Nah, we're all good people here. Oh, uh, speaking of St. Patty's Day, like you said, um, Saturday is St. Patty's Day. Am I correct? Saturday. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. It's my son's 16th birthday. So. Okay. Happy birthday, Colin. Happy birthday to Colin. Go get him, boy. He's becoming a big, big man, dude. He's bigger than his old man. So. He's bigger than me and I'll, st I'll still whoop your ass. What are you yeah. feeding him? Anyway? <laughs> He'll always be able to kick your ass. It doesn't matter how he old might, he is. He might be able to do it in like two years, though. He's well, but, but, but you can't let him know that. Yeah, oh, of course. You no, know, no. I mean, he'll think. He's, it's always a... He's always I'm the master of my domain, my friend. Exactly. He'll <laughs> always be that way. So, dude, check it out. We uh, we just did some East Coast dates, and we uh, one of them this guy booked. And uh, we didn't even look into it. We didn't know where we were going. We were going to Union City, New Jersey. So we roll into Union City. No one tells us it's, like, one of the most na dangerous da neighborhoods on the East Coast, right? <laughs> the name of the place is called Lindo's. I'm like, Lindo, that sounds kind we of Spanish. We were the only... We were the only like like um, we were the only non gun packing we, brethren. We were no, actually, to, oh, like yeah. to be honest with you, seriously, we were the only non Latino people in there. But my drum is from Puerto Rico, okay. and I, every time I looked at someone, they couldn't really even speak. All of a sudden, I, I like kept my I kept pointing at my drummer, going, "Where would that guy? <laughs> Are we amigos? <laughs> Are we amigos? Because I didn't know how to like say I don't know nothing in Spanish. I just was like amigos." No, in all seriousness, dude, we walked it in, was we crazy, in. That place was Everybody dope. in there's got tattoos on their faces, oh, gold teeth oh, and shit. Oh, dude, like, tattoos on their full eyes. I'm like, oh my God, we're right in the den. Yeah. And then look at us. Uh, we were in the center of hell, dude. It was like, oh, but it was awesome, though. Much respect to them dudes. They, I was like, we're, we're going to get bundled. Yeah, they started cheating. I, like, I, 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 I was like, we're going to get fucked up, probably. We're probably going to get bundled there. But they ended up liking us and... Uh, like a pit broke out and shit. It was pretty cool. Yeah, some of them were there for us. We went yeah. over. So we were like, yeah, dude, it was great. we were really stunned, dude. Can I ask Bob on this? Or are we a yeah, yeah, I've right. already said fuck, go fuck yourself. Fuck, 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 fuck dick, cunt, false wit. Gino. <laughs> Gino. Yes. Go you fuck yourself, dude. <laughs> oh, so sweaty balls. It's good to feel comfortable. Yes. You know, we, we, like, yeah. we like a relaxed That's why I came here. prepared this time. I knew I was like, I, I gotta get booze. And weed. Exactly. Weed, check. Booze, stop right before we get there. You know, last time we visited Conalita, so, she had to put a foot in my ass because I, <laughs> I could just not clean out my trap, no matter how hard I tried. Uh, you don't have to try around here, though. Oh, I ain't gonna. Don't worry have, about uh, it, I won't. We, we did have some, uh, some a younger band in earlier. They were all around the high school age. Yeah, it was... Sweet! Uh, oh, God. It was always difficult. Yeah. Who was it? It wasn't Red Line Rebels, was it? No, it was uh, a cityscape. Oh, uh, pop punk thing. They're good. Their parents were cool. Yeah. Dude, when they start bringing parents to the interview to the interview and stuff, that's pretty funny though. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I'm not trying to just because uh, the barroom heroes they're like 14. And yeah, we yeah. have them in here. Yes, yeah, I told them about this, and um, their their parents are awesome, and they're a great band, and I think they're the future of punk rock. But it's funny, like they're doing interviews, and their parents are in the corner. Yeah. You know, that's what they got to do though. To you keep just, the music uh, scene alive, I'm back in it, but it's just funny. Like I know if I was 14, I was like, Dad, we're going to go do some press. Uh, he's going to come here, and he's going to be like, my father would be like, oh, shit in the hat, dude. You and your band. band. <laughs> you my father's old school from Charlestown, so he'll, he'll tell you how it really is. Yeah, 
that was a, that was a very interesting day when we had those kids in there. They're, they're all like 12 and 13 years old. Well, yeah, we just pulled them on to a show. Yeah, yeah we do. Awesome. We've, we've played, what, what, we've played what, I've done songs can, with them. Can I, I want to, oh, just can't get a word in. Hey, listen, dude. It's not like I'm on an eight ball. Stop talking, dude. No, it is like you're on an eight ball. Because <laughs> You got nothing good to say. That's I do. I no, I would, that, that was my group. Huh? We, well, anyway, we pulled them on a show with us in May. We got them in Redline Rebels and Blue Bloods. Uh, May 12th, is it? Midway? Midway Cafe in... Uh, Management, May 12th. Uh, is that down JP? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're playing with them. That's in, a good uh, Who else are we playing with? Blue Bloods. Oh, in, the Blue in, Bloods, uh, yeah. Redline yeah. Rebels uh, Gymnasium. I think it's all ages as well. Yeah, all ages. ages. After oh, it's going to be sick. Excellent. It's yeah. going to be sick like AIDS, dude. It's going to be a shit <laughs> show. <laughs> it's going to be dope. Hopefully not that sick. No, we don't know. That's but just my sense of uh, sick sense of humor. I'm sorry. But yeah, you guys should go. I got to tone it down a notch. No, you don't. That's the <laughs> we were here. You know, we had a show coming up. I was like, Dex, you should drop in. See what a real band does. And, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 And everybody's like, oh, yeah, we'll come out. Like, yeah, put you on the guest list and everything. Nobody came. I didn't even want to go on. I didn't even, I, you know, the place was sold out. I didn't care. You know, I, I felt like I got punched in the stomach. Ooh. Oh, fire in the hole. Back that oh. hole, dude. No Jackie, no no mysterious Nikki with the made-up last name. She's not here today, no. Oh, I'm going to dig into her. We haven't seen her in a while. She used to come by a lot more. Actually, I think she might be here more. It's probably because of oh, us. Oh, yeah, she's up top by. Oh, you hear Robbie playing? I think everybody left us. This is yeah. what's going on here today. We got, we got Dave at South by. <laughs> Dex at <and> Lyft. That <laughs> was so funny. So, is, uh, uh, is Robbie Robbie <coughs> <Nima> playing? <coughs> Are they doing a gig or in there? Uh, Are I'm they not, just hanging out? I think they're doing the stereo telescope thing still. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to catch up. Are they the playing? Are they, are they stereo telescoping at South by Southwest? I yeah. believe so. They're oh, looking cool. at things from you know, long distances with, with both eyes. Yeah. We'll never get on shows like that. If you keep talking dude, like that. We need, <laughs> dude, we smoke, <laughs> enough, <laughs> we smoke enough weed, we should be on the Hemp Fest, Mama Yeah, actually. Yeah. I burn it down, dude. That definitely keeps on the regular. About that. We should get you guys on there. Dude, know. someone make that happen. I've been now. saying it for four years. It's like it's not like nobody smokes weed in my band. You know, only one that does it is this champ right beside yeah. <laughs> Besides that, we burn it down, dude. <coughs> Good lineup the last one. Is there a particular one. reason you don't smoke weed? Oh, no, I do. I just, He's an asshole. I'm, oh. I'm stupid enough to do this today, and if I, I smoke, I'm just going to become more condescending and evil. So I'm just going to relax. Dude, God put that, that shit here for us. That's why I smoke it. But I'm just kidding. I, you know, Jasmine, I, I don't mean to sound like a cock. I'm just <laughs> fucking around. It's all good. That's why we're here. What we do. You're a dick. Oh, so you guys, uh, you were saying you had an album in the yeah, world, were you? Yeah, that, you just played the first single. We're, uh, we should be done with it by June. We got a bunch of stuff written and it's all done. We just only song we've recorded so far was that one, Stand Up, and uh, we have to go back in. But it's also cool about um, telling who produced Stand Up. Yeah, hey, you guys, you guys know Scott Riebling? He back in the day he was in Letters to Cleo. That does sound familiar. And that's yeah, that means a lot to me. Like I'm from Dorchester, Letters to Cleo, Kay Hanley's from Dorchester. So this kid was from Letters to Cleo. We hooked up with him, Gino. God, you know, tell him. Stories. But uh, he's got a studio in Berkeley, uh, Massachusetts, and uh, it's amazing. Amazing, and it's cheap, and like he does, he mixes like major label stuff in there, and um, the gear he has, everything, it's amazing, and it's priced right. So I, I recommend it to anyone that uh, wants to wants to track him. Is that where he, you're uh, doing the whole thing? Yeah, he tracked that, and like that's a, that's an MP3 that that's just the like the, is all that was just the beginning, right. and we discussed it afterwards. I was like, we might want to stick with him because it's not only do I like the guy personally and he, his work, but um, his setup, man. Is dope, dude. I mean, like, really, like, I was all. I looked at him. I go, this is something that I've always wanted to do. Build a build a studio of my own, and he's done that, and it looks really awesome. And he and he's on. He's all. He's on point. All his stuff is legit, like top of the line stuff yeah. too. So it's like, it's really no. Yeah, it's a, it's really a no brainer that we're gonna have to go back and record with this dude and finish it up. You know, what I mean? he's got the Green Day Marshall. He's got the Eddie Van Halen Marshall. He's got the Radiohead Marshall. You know, the Bob Bradshaw Marshall. So. It, it,